Stop allowing perfection to ruin your life. What's happening, my people? It's your guy All Wheel here, and I wanted to have a discussion with you today about perfection. I'm here to tell you, man, to me, I don't believe perfection really exists. It's been something that's been haunting me for a long time, probably because it's not real. It's like the boogeyman. It's like you look and it's not there, but you're still scared of it. If you anything like me, I kind of struggle sometimes like really being myself or at some point in my life and I'm pretty sure at some point in yours you've done something where you wasn't truly yourself and it's because of perfection perfection is like an ankle weight it holds you down and it follows you throughout life you drag it along worrying about it and it's it's doing nothing but holding you back let me tell you something perfection does not exist it's not real I feel like to me, I just think it was something that was created by insecure people to hold people back or just to hold people to a particular standard that's unreachable, you know? And you can deal with this in school, social life, the church, in relationships. You could deal with it anywhere. Perfection is like, it's just like something that's just ready to get you that's never going to get you, but it can hold you back because of your fear of it. What is authenticity? It's just being yourself, it's being real. And when you know and learn what authenticity is, you will learn that it comes with imperfection. It comes with flaw. It comes with um, unorthodox methods. It comes with differences. And, and those things are just fine. Those things were meant to be. Just how they, just how they are, they are meant to be. I feel like Perfection has held me back really being myself a lot in life. I feel like I could have really expressed myself in different aspects, whether it's sport, relationships, art, creativity, um, social gatherings, just because there's this looming idea that you gotta act a certain way or do a certain thing or rise to a certain occasion based on a certain path that you must take that there's only one path to take and any other path to this particular point of success is not respected because it's not perfect if you are out there right now and there's something you want to do there's something that you're already doing and you're struggling to get through because you're worried about what people are going to say if you fail, what people are going to say if you take a different route, what people are going to say if it doesn't look pretty. I want you to know now it's okay. Do what you need to do, how you need to do it, how you feel like doing it. Allow whatever it is in you to be, to come out. Allow whatever it is God gave you to manifest. But you got to be true to yourself. If you got to give a person anything, give them authenticity over perfection. Because anybody that shows you perfection, anybody that shows you that they did it perfectly, is a person that is a con artist. A professional con artist. They're a liar. And they live in life because it does not exist. There's not a person out there that can show you perfection. But the most successful people in the world can show you every mistake they made on the way to get to where they're at. They'll show you their nicks and bumps and bruises. And, and it's a part of it. It's a part of whether it's even if it's the way you look. If it's the way you look, the way you sound where you come from, your background. Life is not meant to be a tailored suit for everybody. We come in all shapes and sizes, colors and creeds. And if you think that the path to success is laid out with one route, then you're dead wrong. 
Stop allowing perfection to ruin your life. Stop allowing the judgment that comes with perfection to ruin your life. You don't have to be perfect because there's not anyone who is. Be yourself. It's okay to be whoever you are. Whatever you like. Whatever art it is you have inside of you. Do it. Whatever hobbies you have that may be unorthodox, at least for a person that look like you or come from your background or whatever the case may be. Do it. Enjoy it. Because you got one life to live. And it's not supposed to be a perfect one. It's okay to, to fail sometimes. Like for instance, this YouTube. YouTube was hard as heck for me. YouTube was hard as heck for me because I go through all these mental processes of how would I sound? What will people think about what I sound? What will people around me who know me feel about me doing this? Will they judge me? All of these thoughts go through your head and time progresses and before you know it, it's like a dream that you just woke up from and you never actually got to live it out because you're afraid. Afraid of what? Of imperfect people judging you to perfection? Don't allow that to take control of your life. Don't allow that to take control of your spirit. Whatever you're supposed to do, do it. Feel that you can do it to the fullest. Know that you can do it to the fullest. You know? If you're out there right now and you're in school and you're dealing with people who act a certain way, being cool as a particular crowd, they all dress alike, they all look alike, they all act alike, and you gotta act like this to be cool. That's being perfect, right? Right? You got to do these things in school, these particular things to fit in. And if not, you're just not good enough, right? If not, you failed, right? That's not true. Because for you to do anything that is not true to yourself, you're selling yourself out. There was no mistakes made when you were created. You are who you are. You are who you're supposed to be. You have gifts and talents. You have a message. You have something that someone else can benefit from. But you burying it with inside of you because people around you can't handle it. People who lack creativity will judge creativity. People who lack art will judge people with art understand that judgment is laced in insecurity flaw and fakeness anybody in this world that judges you for being who you are it's not a real person be true to yourself understand that when you when when you choose the route to become when you choose the route to be authentic over being perfect, things will start to be a lot more clear. You will start to feel a more comfortable expressing yourself, expressing the things that you like to do in truth, the things that you have interest in in truth. And you'd, you'd be surprised at the route that it'll take you, the things that you will gain along the way. Just really just being true to yourself. If there's anything out there that you really want to do, that you're not doing, if there's anything out there that you enjoy, that you feel like you should be doing, and if there's something that you are doing that you really don't want to do, all because of a perfection, because of judgment, because of your comparison to perfection, I want you to know that it's okay to be authentic. Be okay with being flawed. If you want to do YouTube and you're scared because it may not look right. It may not be right. But if it's really what you want to do, then go for it. What do you got to lose? People talking, they're going to talk regardless. They're going to talk whether you did it the right way, their way, 
the wrong way, whatever it is, they're gonna talk. Talking people just talk. But you need to do what you need to do. What you waiting on?